गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर एक्साइटेड फॉर योर जेई एडवांस एग्जाम विच इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन अ वीक एंड दिस इज द लास्ट वीक ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन आई नो ऑल ऑफ यू हैव प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर जेई एडवांस फॉर लास्ट टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स एग्जाम्स हैव बीन डिलेड बाय सिक्स मंथ्स नाउ दिस केम टू द लास्ट वन वीक ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन सो दिस इज द लास्ट लैप ऑफ योर मैराथन एंड द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट लैप ऑफ द मैराथन सो इन दिस your preparation everything that you have done so far matters along with that your mindset matters the most it places you where you are going to be on that rank list of je advance to 2022 so let's go ahead for the instructions this is the instructions for this last one week one day before the exam and on that day of exam how do you train yourself how do you keep yourself ready for that challenge let's go ahead students J Advanced 2022. So, I know all of you have done sincere and serious preparation so far. Let us try to understand in this one week how do you train yourself. See, this is not about mass physics chemistry anymore. That phase you have completed successfully. This phase is about keeping your mindset ready. Be the champion of that day. That having that champion's mindset. That is what today's session is all about. What all things you need to have. to be the champion on 28th your exam is going to be there for 6 hours and your exam is in the morning from 9 to 12 that means your reporting time will be 1 and 1/2 hours ahead and you have to travel all the way from your home to there that means you have to wake up at least by 5:30 6 o'clock right so start doing that from now on i know many of you have this habit of waking up late see you have to train yourself ready for that for all these 6 days every day you wake up at around 5 30 6 o'clock in between get yourself ready have breakfast how you are going to have it on the final day you do your daily routine and start your test by 9 o'clock and trust me this is going to help you much more to keep yourself ready now one more thing there is a chance that you will get exhausted for the second paper so what you need to do second paper is also of 3 hours we know but try to make it from 3 hours to 4 hours so how do you make it 4 hours see you write the exam for 3 hours but you practice something especially subject like mathematics you practice for one extra hour for the second paper time especially from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock you do that for this next one week so this is going to help you better for your second paper performance and this is a lot needed for you guys so train yourself for that paper for that performance on that day now second thing having lunch also exactly between your two papers and exactly similar way have a little moderate lunch little lighter lunch in fact so that your concentration will stay longer not a heavy lunch and all this six days and do not eat any outside food for this next six days and try to avoid going out so much such that you can avoid the risk of any viral fevers or covid or any such thing and this is one thing that you need to do apart from that you need to go through every simple simple formula stuff which are theoretical which simple formula that are there in all three subjects which you can revise do a quick revision in this one week now what exactly you need to do one day before your exam see download your hall ticket read all the instructions of what all things you can carry what all things you can wear what all things you do not wear what all things you should not carry please read the instructions i know this is not new for you you have read the instructions of ge means but again the instructions are different please read the instructions and that is needed for you guys second one day before the exam try to keep yourself cool and if you write a test on that day please don't count the score just write the test and do not have any expectation of paper or anything on that one day before exam and especially in the second slot second paper slot please write an exam but don't count the score just write the exam and leave it do not even go through the questions not needed and have a sound sleep the night before your exam see sunset you should think of having dinner at 7 to 8 pm and have a sleep 7 to 8 hours sleep is necessary please remember that i know you need to have good sleep 
such that you can perform better on that day and it's a long exam it's not a three hour exam like mains remember that fact so please sleep on time around 8 pm or 8 30 pm try to sleep or 9 pm you try to sleep such that you will have a good sleep for that day and one more thing for the exam day you don't need to revise anything you had a lot of time to revise on that day keep yourself mentally peaceful Exactly, follow the same routine that you have done in last six days. Wake up and keep yourself mentally cool. Talk to your parents once and go to the examination center and have a light breakfast, not heavy one, and go to the examination center. See, reporting on time is very, very necessary. That's why I told you this. Know your examination center so that you can report. There is no problems in reporting on time into the examination center. And get yourself that security check done. Get inside. And on exam day, what do you need to do? See, these are the first and foremost things that you need to do. Every year, advanced paper pattern changes. Every year, you have to read the instructions. See, reading instructions is the one of the most important things you should do because JE means bits or any other exam, the pattern have been same or they told the pattern ahead. This time, advanced may, there is no pattern for you. You guys have to know the pattern from that initial 20 minutes of instructions. Read everything, read instructions properly. Which section has negative marking? Which sections do not have negative marking? Which sections have partial marking? Which sections do not have partial marking? What is the per question score? What is the thing that you need to read the instructions properly? And again, you cannot assume the first paper instructions to be there for second paper. Even second paper, spend time in reading the instructions. Reading instructions is the most crucial thing because after the exam, if you come to know that some section has no negative marking, that is the biggest disaster that you can ever do in this. So please concentrate time on reading the instructions, go through section wise with what is the marking scheme, what is the negative marking scheme, partial marking scheme and what is the type of question, how you attempt the question. For example, integer type question, if 1.75 is the answer, how many decimal digits you are supposed to write? Is it an integer type or is it a numerical answer? Are the negative numbers there? How do you represent your answer? So please go through the instructions and there can be surprises. So get yourself mentally ready and surprise for you is surprise for everybody in India. So don't worry about that. Get yourself mentally ready for whatever that is going to come. Read the instructions and do one small thing after reading the instructions. What is that? I'll tell you. Till 2018, multiple correct had plus 4 minus 2. That means if you get it correct, you will get 4 marks. If you get it wrong, it will be a minus 2. With partial marking, it is to be there. But when 2019 came, same plus 4, partial marking is there, but minus 1 is there. So, until 2018, multi-correct answers were not that attractive because it had 50% negative marking scheme. But right now, comes 2019, they suddenly turned attractive because the, there is a greater chance students can score a positive score. Try to understand this, there can be changes in marking scheme which can make one particular section attractive for scoring. Similarly, last year, 2021. Till last year, we have never seen two mark questions in an advanced paper. Last year, there were two mark questions and suddenly there was a section which doesn't, is not very attractive for scoring. Compared to them, there is a three mark question also, there is a four mark question also. So, students can micromanage this thing. So, have a small strategy in mind. How do you play with those things such that you can score more? Your idea should be scoring more. So, think on that. What sections you can try start try to attempt such that your score will be more and in exam you can maneuver that but before you start it once you read the instructions if there is any section which is like more attractive to attempt attempt it in marks wise if it is unattractive to attempt don't do that simple strategy that you can formulate and once you start the paper then you can go through the questions maybe the two mark questions are easier if you're finding them easy score more so you can, you can adopt that strategy, right? So have an open mind. That's all you need to have. And you're not competing with anybody else that are there. You are competing to score more such that your rank will be the best. That's all. And 
on exam day anything can happen you have seen in mains you have seen the computers getting struck at some point computers getting shut down and they gave you another computer and it took some time and people are not writing the paper you have seen all kinds of problems right problems are going to be there everywhere so one thing that you need to give tell yourself if problem happens last year there was one student whose computer got shut down in between and it is not getting switched on and it was like one hour 15 minutes from the start of the first paper you have to tell yourself only one thing keep your cool that's all i write it again keep your cool the cooler your mind is the better your school students nothing else you have done your preparation you are there you are there to score you need to be cool for that that's the only thing so that student was given an another computer which took around a time of 10 to 15 minutes he didn't lose any time the timer restarted at the same time exactly says that key the timer he did not lose any time but in that 15 minutes what went on his mind you just need to cool down and think it's okay you're not losing anything you are going to do well trust me you're going to do well just that you need to think on this only nothing else and when you write the paper this is what changes things see do not get trapped i know there is a lot of reasons you see when you start thinking of it the reasons to get trapped i can give you a lot of reasons and you will also get a lot of reasons to get trapped what do i mean by trapped is number one do not get trapped from the expectations that you have you are going to do this way you are going to do that way you are strong in physics so you started the physics paper and you couldn't solve first two questions you couldn't solve first three questions that is something you need to handle it's okay the paper can be tougher this year the paper can be easier this year anything can happen so keep yourself open for that imagine first three questions you are unable to solve move ahead maybe go to the last section or change the section altogether and solve it you are going to solve nothing bad is going to happen to you alone that is one thing you need to understand nothing bad is going to happen to you alone whatever the bad paper is it is bad for everybody in india if you have the right mindset you are going to score more than who all are going to spoil that day with the wrong mindset so if you're not getting three questions it's totally okay and it is an advanced paper it can happen so please move ahead see there can be questions which are completely troublesome to you it's an advanced paper it's okay you can you have to move ahead you still have to solve the questions now remember this point and it is very necessary you are not going to solve 100 percent of the paper or you're not going to score 100 percent of the paper maybe you're going to score most of it maybe you ha might have to leave one really really worst question to get a good rank please leave that nobody is going to give you an award nobody is going to like praise you you are so great because you did this worst question in the paper no please leave that question move ahead try to score more out of it that is should be your strategy nothing else scoring more should be your own strategy your strategy and clearing cutoffs in case if you're weak in one particular subject is should be the second part where you're safeguarding yourself and do not do not at all think of eliminating the options i know you are used to that you want to eliminate the options especially multi correct me you solve the question you get an answer you mark it do not think ye ho gaya to ye ho jayega that is going to give you minus 1 right away and you it is not minus 1 you are losing the marks you scored as well so in that question maybe you you did two options correct plus 2 you are supposed to score and you are getting a minus 1 out of it that means three marks you are losing and three marks is really really precious in terms of advance exam strictly mark the questions which you got it end to end if you do not get something do not mark it do not take risk for that extra one marks don't lose three marks that's that's like heavy risking 
and I have seen students spoiling the paper just like that by taking the extra risks. Please don't do that. And after the first paper is over, do not think anything. Go outside, meet your parents, have some light lunch, keep yourself in a cool situation, maybe in uh, some maybe in some place where in your car or maybe under a tree, sit down and think of nothing. Not, not needed. You don't need to discuss with your friends how your paper went, how my paper went and what type of questions are this and are this, this is really great paper, this is really bad paper, this is really worst paper. Nothing else is needed. Nothing of this is needed. You have to remain calm during that time. And you have to go in again thinking you are going yourself for the first paper. As if you haven't given second paper, you have to go like that. And in case, in case, if you think you did not do well in the first paper and you are worried, please talk to one of your faculties whom you trust more, whom you want to listen and trust me, they can pull you off from that. Call them, message them or call them and talk to them at that time. But not about the paper, talk to them what is troubling you. It's not, it's not the paper. See, trust me, if you have done bad, that means many, many students have done bad. So, Ultimately, you are going to get a good rank. So you don't have to worry because the paper might be tough. The paper might be easy or the paper might be like unknown. We don't know. Nobody knows. But you have to go to the exam with the right mindset again because there is a chance for you to overcome the, all of that. There is a chance for you to write the second paper and average out. Whether it's a bad performance, you're averaging out that. Whether it's a good performance, you are boosting upon that. So you have to go with a clean, clean mind. So talk to your faculty once and get rid of that whatever that is in your mind. And plainly go to the exam with a clean mindset. And second paper, you can do really well and write it as if you haven't written any other paper. It's a three hours exam. Think of it like three hour advanced paper in front of you and write the paper. Trust me, that's what we need. And read the instructions as if you are reading it for the first time because first paper instructions can be different from second paper instructions. Marking schemes can be different. Everything can be different. So please read it again. Do not think that I know the instructions or anything like that. And solve the paper till the last minute you are solving and not thinking anything. How you have done, what is going to happen, what others are going to do, what this guy is going to do, what that guy is going to do, it's nothing is required. What is required is what is the question in front of you and how you are going to solve it. Whether you are not going to solve it, skip the question. That's all. Nothing else. Nothing else. And in case if you meet any one of your friends there, do not talk about the paper. Trust me, it is not needed. And call or call your friends and ask like, how did you do? How did I do? This is the physics stuff. Is the math stuff? Is the chemistry tough? Nothing is needed. And even if they say something also, Trust me, I have seen really, really, really different things. Students coming to me and telling me in the middle of the paper saying ki, like after the paper, first paper is done, sir, I've done wonderfully well. This is my best paper ever and they didn't even clear the exam. And the paper is so easy. They, they say it as if so easy and they didn't even clear the exam. And students who are so worried got into below 500, below 300 ranks. So all of you got it. What I want to say, please keep your cool. Do not expect anything from the exam, you think of only one thing, performing well on that day. And deadline is your timer. Against it only your workers. Question in front of you, whether to solve it. If you solve it, what you need to do. And if you don't want to solve it or if you want to skip it, skip it. Move ahead and try to score more. Objective is scoring more. Another objective, clearing all the cutoffs. That's all. And whatever happens, keep your goal. Trust me, you are going to do really, really good. You have done really wonderful preparation. Whatever happens, you are going to be there. You have your mains rank as a benchmark. Worst way, even you should be there. Right? And it, should, it will be better than that only. So it's not going to be worse than that. Keep your cool. Remember that. This is what your mantra is. All the best for your exam. 28th of August is going to be your day. And it's going to be your own story. And trust me, next two months, next two years, many of your cousins, many of your friends are going to ask you how you did on that day. 
and that story is worth living live that day and come out all the best students